Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're gonna do a little bit of work on the free tee. Uh, so right before my arm got all effed up, uh, basically the last thing I was trying to do before we were rushing to get the car together uh, for the show was getting these uh, kick-ass stainless headers that my buddy Ben uh, put together for me uh, all polished up. So uh, there's quite a bit of work in getting these all uh, polished and, and actually fitted to the car. Uh, after welding up, after doing the general welding on them, there's been a lot of work to make them shiny. So I figured I'll show you guys the process. We'll hopefully get the driver's side all bolted up so we can kind of give you a side profile of the car, which will uh, will be kind of like the final money shot, if you will. Um, and uh, yeah, show you just a little bit of update on the free tee and where it's at. So I got the uh, the second pipe here all uh, sanded up, and uh, basically what I did is I went over in the last couple shots you saw I went over it with 600 grit on the DA. Uh, you can go a little more aggressive if you want to, but then it requires multiple steps of sanding. Uh, I decided just to stay with 600 and just work a little longer in the areas where there's those tooling marks and uh, try and get all of those out. Uh, depending on the tubing that you buy, that there may not be as many tooling marks. Uh, ben was able to basically put this together with some uh, drops from his day job. They have drops in their CNC bender, and uh, sometimes there's mess ups or whatever, and I got some pieces that might have had a little more tooling in them. I didn't go crazy with removing like every single little mark in this. Um, I just took out the major gouges and, and areas that were really visible when it's all together. I took those out, got them all sanded, got all of the like grain out of the tubing so that it's all pretty smooth. That's gonna make my life easier when I am doing the buffing. Now, if you don't have a, uh, a buffer, a uh, motorized buffer like this uh, for doing a job like this, you really should get one. Uh, I have the Eastwood One Horse two-speed buffer, which is really nice for doing different types of materials. You can change the speed. Uh, for this, we're gonna crank it up to the, to the higher speed and we're gonna be running with the tight sewn wheel uh, for our first step. And then I have some gray stainless compound here and that's what we're gonna use on there. If you try and use the brown compound, like for you guys that watch the um, polishing the cylinder heads for the free tee, uh, I was using a different compound for the first step. That compound, while, while it will, will work on the stainless, it's not gonna cut as fast. And uh, since I only did 600 grit on this, I need to cut a little faster. So I'm gonna use this, uh, this black stainless compound, you need to apply it pretty often because the, it, it uh, gets worn off pretty quick when we're doing this tubing and working around it on the stainless. Uh, so you need to add it uh, quite often. So I'm gonna go over it in the first step. You'll see how quickly it's gonna shine up uh, just with doing this first step of buffing. And then we'll take it to the final step, which is just a real quick uh, hit on the loose wheel with the, uh, the white rouge compound that we use to finish most everything.
All right, so I uh, got the pipes all polished up and uh, you saw in those last couple of shots where I was mounting up the driver's side and man, they look bitching. It really uh, finishes out the side view of the car, which is, is, you know, my final vision in my head. This is what we were waiting to see and it's really, really awesome. Uh, it breaks up all the black uh, that's going on in the side of the car and kind of just gives it a pop of, uh, of polished uh, and really finishes out the car nicely. Now, the only thing I really have left to do on the driver's side is I just need to make a little piece of uh, stainless that I'm going to basically uh, tack weld or, or weld on the car uh, just to stabilize the two pipes together uh, and keep them at a consistent uh, distance apart. Uh, I'm just going to clamp those together, put a little piece of flat bar on the back side, and then we'll just put a little bit of weld with the TIG welder in there. That will keep them all together and, uh, and keep everything good. Uh, the passenger side, that's what Ben basically finished up like right before we were supposed to go to Viva East. And uh, even though uh, he got all that done, we still needed to make the little mounting bracket that goes into the frame. So I'm gonna need to uh, work with a helper to get the those pipes uh, fitted up and then also get that mounting bracket welded and uh, all together. So uh, overall, I'm really happy with how these pipes came out. They look awesome. And it, it just really adds to that like uh, performance and show car thing that you would see in the little books in the, in the older magazines where a guy built a car that had a nasty flathead, had uh, some tires that hooked up, and uh, you know had a set of, set of pipes that really uh, made a statement when the car rolled in. So uh, I think this ticks all of those box boxes. Uh, so that's all we have for this one. I appreciate you guys following along. As always, we do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. If you haven't, definitely drop us uh, a comment down below and hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys. Catch you later.